Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on the best tank champions for Season 5, Patch 5.1. That sounds really weird to say because I'm so used to saying Season 4, Patch 4 point something, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be coming out with um, best um, champion videos for each position for Patch 5.1. I'm just going to wait a few days at least to just... Um, get used to the patch and see who I think is strong until I release the top fives But yeah, I decided to start it off this season with the best tanks for patch 5.1 So I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already But without further ado, let's get into the video So starting off at the number five spot. I have a Mumu. Pros to Amumu are he's got really strong CC, um, especially when he hits level 6 with his ultimate, he has really strong level 6 ganks, and if he can get a good gank down bot lane, land his Q, and then follow that up with his ultimate, he's pretty much guaranteed at least one kill. He also has a game changing ultimate, and he's a great team fighter because of that. He's also got really good engage with his Q, and he's got solid early game presence because of the long range on his Q. Cons to Amumu are he doesn't have any mobility, he has weaker early game clear speeds as well, and he's skill shot based in- or he has a skill shot based engage, so if you're not good at landing skill shots then Amumu might not be the best pick for you because he does heavily rely on landing his Q to be able to get a good ultimate off in a team fight. Next up on my list I have Maokai, pros to Maokai are he clears pretty well. He's also got very good CC, and in my opinion, he's one of the best peel or disengage champions in the game because of all the CC he has. His Q, his W, and his E all provide some sort of CC, and if the enemy tries to jump on your AD carry, it's really easy for you to just use your W on them, um, use your Q to knock them back, and it's going to be really hard for the enemies to focus your AD carry because you have so much CC. Cons to Maokai are he is pretty mana hungry in the early game. He is weak against some ranged champions as well if you're playing him in the top lane, and he doesn't have any mobility either. Next up on my list, I have Sejuani. Pros to Sejuani are she is a super strong team fighter because of her ultimate, and she's got CC as well on her Q, which makes her a pretty good team fighter. She also has pretty strong early game ganks because of her Q, and she's got a game changing ultimate. If you can hit her ultimate on multiple targets in a team fight, then your chances of winning that team fight are going to be very high. And she's also got great pick potential because of the long range on her ult. And she also has pretty good mobility with her Q. Constant Sejuani, Arshi does have weaker early game clear speeds. Next up on my list, I have Nasus. So, pros to Nasus are he does a load of damage while being tanky at the same time because of the stacks he gets on his Q. His Wither is also extremely strong, especially if he can get it on the enemy AD carry in a team fight. It's going to reduce their movement speed and reduce their attack speed, which is just such a strong ability. He's also a late game monster because of how he scales with his Q stacks, and he's pretty easy to play as well in my opinion. He doesn't have any skill shots, which makes him a pretty simple champion to pick up on. Constant Nasus are he does have some weak lane matchups, so if you're not confident in your matchup in lane, then I'd recommend starting Crystalline Flask so you can sustain the early game, and he also does not have any mobility. So number one on my list is Malphite. Pros to Malphite are he has a game changing ultimate. Um, that's pretty much the case with a lot of these champions on my list. Um, and that's why they are on the top five. Champions that will be in the honorable mentions usually don't have like a game changing ability, which is why they aren't on the top five. But yeah, if you can land Malphite's ultimate in a team fight, then you're going to have a very good chance at winning the team fight, especially if you can land it on a few targets or on a high priority target. He's also very strong against AD champions because the more armor that he gets, the more damage he gets on his E. He also has a surprising amount of damage. I usually like to go Iceborne Gauntlet on Malphite, and once I pick that up, he actually does quite a bit of damage. He's got very solid CC with his Q and his ultimate, and he's got great pick potential as well with his ult. And he's very strong if you can get ahead with him because he's an engaged based champion, and if you get ahead with him, then you can always be looking for picks with your ult. 
Constant Malphite, or he is weak if you fall behind with him because he's an engaged based champion. He also is pretty mana hungry in the early game, so I'd recommend starting Crystalline Flask. And he does um, have some weak lane matchups as well. So a few honorable mentions for this video include Scion, Mundo, Nunu, and Nautilus. The reason why Scion, Mundo, and Nunu aren't, aren't on my list is because they don't have that game changing CC ability. You could argue that not or that Scion has a game changing ultimate, but it's hard to land and it's not really reliable because you're not always or it's just easily easily dodged. Like you can just flash away from it, or if the enemy has some sort of gap closer, you can just move to the side and it's not really reliable. Nautilus is probably the best out of these three in my opinion because he does have a good ultimate which if you can get off on the enemy AD carry in a team fight then it's going to be easy for your team to lock the AD carry down. So I'd recommend playing any of these champions on this list if you need to play a tank. So that is all for the video guys. If you enjoyed then be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.